welcome back friends. My name is Carissa. If you're new here, welcome. So welcome to Precious Connections. And so today I'm just going to be showing my shopping haul. So I went to a couple different stores, Dollar Tree, Target, a few other places. Um, and I'm just going to get started and showing you what I found. So I noticed they are getting their St. Patrick's Day items out right now and I was super excited to find some of these things and they also have Easter coming out so that's another one of my favorites to decorate for is Easter. So we're just going to start with the St. Patrick's Day things that I found. Um, so I have a pack of three so these are just the St. Patrick's Day blocks. There's the little leprechaun, the rainbow, and the little pot of gold with the gold coins in there. And I thought that was pretty cute. And I'm going to probably display them either on my entryway table or I do have a tiered shelf that I might use and display them that way. And then I found this little truck and it has the little gold coins in there. I thought would be perfect. So I also found this little leprechaun. I'm going to display those on my entryway table. And then I also have the little pot of gold. So moving on to Easter, so I did find this Easter tree, which I thought was so pretty. So these are just the mini eggs, and they're all kind of speckled in all different colors. I'll be looking at getting a table runner um, for Easter. I might check out some stores and see if I can find one. I'm actually going to be putting this on my entryway table, and I think it's going to be really cute displayed at Easter time. So then I have some items for homeschool or just free time or whenever for my kids. So I found these build your own dump truck. So these pieces are just wood and they are already carved out. So you just punch them out and put them together. But I know that my kids will really enjoy just putting this together. And then there are also stickers that you can put on your truck once it's done. So I picked up two of those. So I did find this peel and stick Create your own sun catcher. I've always liked sun catchers. I think they're really pretty. Um, so I picked up two of those. So we have some paint trays I think that I had bought at the Dollar Tree. And they're nice for like little projects, but they are not good for paints because there's just not a lot of room on them. So I was really excited to find these paint trays, activity trays. You can color on here, you can paint, you can do all sorts of things on here. A lot of the trays I find, they're not very big. So this has plenty of room to put your paper and put your paints. You can also put finger paints in there. You can also use them for like beading and sorting your beads out, making necklaces, or if you're into the jewelry making, you can always do that. There's lots of things you could use these for. We're going to use them for lots of other activities other than just painting. So I think these are going to be really nice. Sometimes you find them and they're really flimsy. Um, and I know Target always has the nice large trays that I find around school time and I have bought those before and I really like those but I really picked up two of those. So I'm not very organized when it comes to cord storage. I know that when we want to go somewhere or travel and I'm always looking for my cords, can never find them when I need. So when we do go on vacation, I like to know where my cords are and they're all in one spot. So it is just a storage box also a phone stand. It can also hold my batteries and my chargers. I need so they're all in one spot and I know where they are. And then I also found one that's similar. This is, this is on the go and this is also going to be for some extra maybe batteries or charging cables and it's just a little zippered bag and then also has a little velcro so if you want to put it in here it will also hold it and then it has a little pocket up here. These are going to be Wonderful to just bring and know where they all are. I know that my kids are always looking to charge up charge up their tablets and I'm always looking for a cord for my computer, for my cameras, for many things, tablets. Um, so I decided to go ahead and grab another one of these. It is the three-in-one charging cable. So Easter is coming up. I'm really excited. I definitely like to start shopping a little bit early for Easter for my kids. When they put things out on the shelves, I'm usually there to try to see what they have before everything gets picked over because that seems to happen to me a lot. Um, I will wait too long and then I will go back and the one thing that I wanted is the one thing that is gone off the shelf and cleared out at most stores. These are a couple of things that I'm going to be getting ready for their Easter baskets. So these are just the little Easter eggs and they are actually building bricks or Legos. 
Um, so this is the miniature T-Rex and then I also found the mini excavator. So I'm going to be putting these in their Easter baskets. So I also found some marshmallow scented Play-Doh that comes with the little cutters. So I found the Peeps. Thought these were going to be kind of fun for them. So last summer we had planted some flowers with the kids. We, so I found the fox and the jaguar. So we're going to be planting something in here come summertime. So I did find this coffee banner. So it has the coffee mugs, one on each side. And those were only a dollar. So I'm going to decorate my coffee station a little at some point. Of course, my husband pointed these out because they are ladybugs. And if you have watched my other videos, you will learn that I love ladybug things. And so we're going to be doing some things with these. The boys are going to have a fun time throwing these around the house. The kids will probably lose them. These are lots of different colors. There are also six in here. Mini animal stampers. So there are six of them. You do not need another stamp pad. However, I have bought them before and the ink kind of dries up on some of them. So I have a lot of stamp pads, so it's fine, but these are inking, self-inking stampers. Self-inking. Self-inking stampers, yes. So that inking stampers, say it, same thing. Self-inking stampers, okay. I'm not saying that as a tongue twister. We found these Pez dispensers. Um, my little one loves Star Wars. Then I found these dolphin crayons. So there are four of them. I thought those were kind of fun. And then I found some pink nail polish. I know that one of my favorite colors is pink and red, so I'm always looking at different shades. I came across this pink one I thought was really pretty. So I also found these straws. I thought they were pretty fun. I like that they are not paper straws. So I'm going to be doing some Easter crafts pretty soon. So I picked up some of this vase filler. You actually get a lot in um, the bag. It says 110. I don't know, we'll, we'll count them and we'll see if there's 110 in here. Doesn't look like 110, I don't know, looks like maybe 80 maybe, I don't know. Take a guess and tell me in the comments, you think this is 110? I don't know, but we're going to see. I'm going to count them. We're going to see if there's actually 110 in each bag, so. Um, okay, so then, so my kids always love to pick out the band-aids, I don't know why, but Peeps Band-Aid I thought were pretty cute. You get 14 of them, three different designs, and, and then we found the animal ones, and of course there's a sloth on there. I also found these little Nutella jars. So I did find these chick egg holders, so I make hard-boiled eggs. I'm going to be using these in our fun lunches at some point, but they're just the little egg holders. Another set of egg holders, they're the six count. So the last thing is this Valentine pillow. So I cannot wait till I put this out next year with my blanket. So I thought this was super cute. So that is what I bought today. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. It's pretty cold here. I'm in Minnesota. So I hope that everybody is staying warm. I know some people are lucky. They do not have snow or see snow ever. So I'm ready for warmer weather and getting outside. Um, I don't really do a whole lot when it's this cold, but stay in and stay warm. So thanks for joining me.